Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mob of the Dead. As you can see, round 58, are they going to die? One of them is. That was gay. Let's try and get both of them. Oh, it missed him by that much. Okay, oh, well, hello, alright, alright, calm down, calm down. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, my friend, we're going to have to put you out of your misery. Boom. Dead. So we need a max ammo. Else we're just going to have to keep relying on this trap forever. I'm going to put this on at the beginning of the round. So that hopefully we don't get trapped. There's a little stain on the wall. Oh, it's just disappeared. Um, where are they coming? Coming through here. So we're going to sprint around here so we don't get trapped. We don't have a zombie shield. Let's quickly pick one of those up and get out of there. And come around here. But yeah, 59, We last episode we tried picking up. Uh oh. The. Uh oh. Uh, Hell's Redeemer. Okay. Let's see if the trap kills Brutus. Let's test it out. Uh, he's coming, yeah he is, little Brutus, our friend. The Warden, or whatever he is. The zombie juggernaut boss. I'm gonna come around here. I'm gonna come around here, I'm gonna put the trap on and see what happens. Okay. He just survived. Didn't hurt him at all. Did, it, did that hit him? No. Uh oh. Okay, this is uh, getting a bit tricky. He's kind of distracting us a little bit. We're taking hits for some reason. The trap. Did that trap just? Did he destroy the trap? I think he did. Okay, we got him with um. Uh oh. We got him with. Uh. Max ammo, please. Oh, I think it is. Yeah, we got him with a claymore. Sorry, what am I saying? Um, let's hope that that is a la 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 la. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness! I heard angels singing. I heard the trumpets of the devil. Yes, that's right. The trumpets of the devil. I don't even know what they are. But I heard them. I'm going down here. I'm gonna put this trappity trap on. Farewell, my friends. I'm sorry. But, you know, it's your time. All that shebang. Um, so, yeah, we picked up a max ammo, and that is absolutely fantastic. This is what we wanted. So, Brutus didn't die in the trap. He actually killed the trap, punched it in the mouth, and the trap said, Oh, I can't take that, and fell over. And then it stopped, and then... Obviously, it came back. You can't destroy it forever. Just like the box, I guess, you've just got to wait. Um, and the the perks as well, you've just got to wait um, to destroy them, and then you can come back and buy them again. You can also destroy the table as well, so you've got to watch out for that, because you can destroy our little zombie shield making... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Crafting device. Um, okay, they're all coming now. That's fine. So we're going to lead them down here. Leave a little trail of breadcrumbs, a little trail of sweets, and then we're going to do this. Farewell, all my friends. Turn them all to zombie soup. Put them in little cans and sell them to customers. High in protein, low in fat, low carbs, all that good stuff. Um. Okay, we took some damage. Yeah, and that's how we, that's how we got 308,000 points by buying and selling and. Well, not buying, but by selling, by making and selling a product that people want to buy, which is zombie soup, high in protein, low in fat. Uh oh. Why have we got this gun out? We need this gun out. Let's pick up a shield. Even though we weren't taking any damage, it's we were we were getting hit, and I could feel my control vibrate, but we weren't actually taking any damage. I'm gonna run down here. I'm gonna trap all these zombies. And we're gonna get a mega kill with the trap. 
Boom. It's almost like an, the equivalent of a nuke, because a nuke kills all the zombies in the map. And if you let them all spawn, and then take them through the trap like that, then it's kind of like getting a nuke. It just kills them all. And it's very quickly, as very quick as well. It's almost it's quicker than nuke as well, actually, because you'll be you'll get a nuke and you'll you'll have zombies running after you, especially in high rounds, like five seconds after you've got the nuke and ten seconds, fifteen seconds even sometimes um, before their head falls off and they die. So yeah, it's it's kind of like getting a nuke, I guess, in some ways. It's a very effective way of killing zombies anyway. So we're going to keep doing this. Uh oh. As long as we don't trap ourselves like we nearly did. I don't know why I, I always look back and check just to make sure they're all dead. It's never like it's any different. I mean sometimes I, I put the trap on a bit too late and they come through but it's not like any of them ever make it through the trap. So anyways, um, I was I went downstairs and I did some washing up and I was just thinking what I could do with all these points. Um, obviously I could make a video of me pack-a-punching all the weapons all across the map and all the weapons in the box. I could also buy an island or something. And I, I thought I could also buy, just wait for it guys, wait for it, um, are you ready? Are you ready? Because this is a pretty big idea. It's pretty, pretty revolutionary. Uh, it's going to blow your mind. Um, make sure you're sitting comfortably because you may fall over as well. Uh, I'm going to buy, or I could buy, a submarine. That's right, Stephen. Uh-oh. Um, a submarine. Um, and obviously, I think we all know who the captain of the submarine is going to be. Um, and that's going to be him. Steven, with a little hat on. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, he's already got the hat and the uniform, so, you know, that's pretty much... Don't need to really check his qualifications or anything like that. He's got a hat, so he's got a cool hat, so... That's the qualification in itself. That's the qualification. Let's pick up a zombie shield. Okay. Um, so, yeah, Steven's going to be the pilot. He's going to... He's gonna fly us around in the sea, under the ocean, and crash into rocks, and probably kill us all. Um, it's gonna be difficult it, to strap him into the chair so he doesn't try and eat us as well. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. Thought he was gonna block the way like these three people. Very inconsiderate there. I was trying to kill all your friends, and now a lot of them are still alive. But yeah, <laughs> all three of them were like in a line. Then that was. Uh, wasn't it wasn't that funny actually was it really? It wasn't well it wasn't a moment that's gonna go down in history it's been the most funniest moment ever. But it was funny. To me. Anyway, Steven said it was as well, so you know he sent me a text so that's confirmation as well. Um This is this is gonna get boring I think maybe for people that are watching. So if you're starting to get bored then I don't know. Slap me in the face with something. Hit me. Uh, make sure you let me know because I can just fast forward all this junk. So you don't have to listen to me talking, twaddle, and just, you know, vomiting what is inside my brain out into the microphone. It's generally what I do. That's generally how I speak, so. <laughs> um. Why am I laughing at my own jokes as well? That's disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, that's out of order. That, and that's, it's almost like the unforgivable thing as well. It's just not a nice thing. It's not considerate. And I do apologize. And Yeah. So let me know if you want me to fast forward these things. If you're even interested at all. Okay. Um... I'm going to swing around here. I was going to run through the trap then, but I don't think I'm going to, because it's possible that... Okay, ow. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't have been ready, but I think it's going to be ready this time. Are we going to hear it click? Oh, right, yeah. There we go. It's green. Green for go. 
Oh, he's still coming through the window. Little Steven. Little Steven and Samuel, the actor, aspiring to be an actor. Um. Okay, that's fine. Why have we got this gun out again? Taking hits, but that's fine. Let's pick up a zombie shield. It's gone already. Um. But yeah, a little zombie school that we've got. Um, it's it's for it's for zombies that you know dr can dream big. If you if you're a zombie and you find it find it difficult to reintegrate yourself into society, you don't have the necessary skills to find a job. You can't read or write because you don't have a brain. Um, you know you can't even do a tie. You can't dress yourself. You're still in the clothes that you died in. Um, it's alright for some people like Steven who have a hound that can quite easily get a job on a submarine. But what about if you died while you were in the bath? What if you were eaten while you were in the bath with no clothes on? What if you were in bed asleep with your pyjamas on and you died? What if it was your wife that ate you while you were asleep? What if you died while you were having sex with your wife and you're now a zombie with a boner? You're a zombie with a huge erection running around and nobody even takes you seriously. You're, you can't even be a zombie, right? What if you're one of those? What if you're, uh oh. What if you're a zombie running around with a big erection and you go to, you run towards someone, you try to scare them, you're trying to eat them, and they turn around and they see you, and they see it, and they just, they just start laughing at you. They just diffuse all fear, all, all the fear's gone, you can't scare anyone. And they're just laughing at you and it upsets you and then you stop running in your tracks and then you break down in tears in the supermarket, naked, still with a massive erection. What if that's you? If you're if you're one of those people that can't even be a zombie, right? If you're if you want to be an actor, if you want to be you know, anything, if you want to be a cowboy, if you want to be a cowboy and you're a zombie, then you've got to call this number. If you call this number, um, speak to our one of our representatives and arrange an interview and we'll send out an information pack to your house and you can take the first step on the road to becoming an intelligent hireable um, zombie again so make sure you call this number guys this is um, if you are a zombie and you do want to, you know, make it in the world, if you want to be a submarine captain, if you want to be just a zombie that can attack people without having a huge erection, then call this number, guys, because um, we're here to help you. Help us help you. That's our, like our, our catchphrase as well. At the end of all the adverts on the TV or commercials, oh, sausages, um, that's going to be it. Help us help you. And, yes, yeah, it's, it's been going well so far, the zombie school. We've um, got quite a few students. It does seem, um, it seems like we keep losing a lot of people as well, a lot of zombies. And I think it's, it's something to do with this acid trap. Someone keeps killing all the zombies. We haven't found out who it is yet. Um, we've got one zombie, two zombies. Yeah, we've got two zombies left in our zombie school. This is what I'm talking about. Um, there's someone that keeps killing all the zombies. And we don't know who it is. And I'm going to go down. What an idiot. And that's not the end of the round. Um... Where's the zombie? Oh, there he is. So he's slow, so there must be still a fast zombie around here somewhere. Because usually the... I mean, there must still be a zombie somewhere. Because it, yeah. The last zombie always goes fast. Finally he died. Round 60. Not too bad, I guess. Nothing special, though. I thought we were doing quite well, but then... I was po I was wandering around YouTube, uh, just just wandering around, thinking to myself, philosophizing things, uh, being a very deep thinker and all that. You know, 
writing poems in my mind. And then I found some videos of people getting to like around 70 and 80 and stuff and I just thought I'm not actually doing that well really. I thought I was doing well compared to other zombie games but you know around 60 is not that significant. I should have like started the series here I think. I should have also had a redeemer so I think that's what I'm going to do next time. When I, when I do finally die, and I'm looking forward to dying because I want to play some of the games. I've had this my Xbox is on being on for seven, eight days. And it's starting to struggle, you know. I mentioned earlier that one side of it's like all melted because I've had it on for so long. And my Xbox has had a stroke. It's also been talking to me and telling me that I need to turn it off. Else it's going to blow up while I'm asleep and scare me for life. I sleep right near my Xbox. I sleep like cuddling it because um, I love it so much. And yeah, it would be nice to play another game. Like I don't know, FIFA 13 or something. I would like I'd like to play that. I was gonna do like a career mode on that as well, but um, well, I already did one as well, but it didn't get that many views. So, um, but that was on my other channel that kind of got uh, strikes against it for using copyrighted um, videos. I didn't even monetize them either and I thought I'd be okay using it under the fair usage, usage policy but it had a song in that upset a particular old man somewhere in the world and he clicked that button and then you know I got a strike. So yeah I might do another career mode series but um, at the same time we're not dead yet. We could go to round 99 without the Redeemer. Can you imagine? Just by using this trap. I think that would be something quite boring to watch. But maybe a little bit impressive at the same time. Maybe a bit like watching Delia Smith. Um, you know, she's boring, but at the same time, what she's done with her life and the amount of people she's helped in learning to cook and her principles and all that is quite quite impressive as well so we are gonna swing around here don't know where that zombie I think he came from the window it's like they were still spawning but yeah I did try getting the redeemer and I was just throwing it at, throwing this thing at people and people were not happy about that and it just wasn't getting any kills the zombies were actually falling over and respawning before I could actually uh oh kill them Okay, that's fine. We don't mind taking a few hits. We do, it's our birthday, you know, birthday beats, all that. That's just uh, that's just part of the part of the job. It's one of the perks. One of the perks of our job in this contract of teaching these zombies how to think and how to pick their brains up off the floor and slot them back into their little three prong three pronged adapter in their brains. Um, it's either a three prong or it's an Ethernet wire, Ethernet adapter, I can't remember um, where your brain plugs in. Um, you'll have to refer to your pamphlets that I've handed out. But running around here, running around the captain, avoiding him, making sure he doesn't throw his hat us and kill us, chop us in half. And we need to be watching these windows as well. That's a very important thing. We need to have a vitrolic withering out as well. How have I, why have I not had it out? That could have been um, could have been a mistake. Could have cost me my life, my job, my underpants. Goodness me! I want to keep my underpants. They're new. I haven't even washed them yet. Got them straight from the shops. Put them on. I've uh, just been walking around with them. So, you know, I'd like to keep my pants. And I think we're going to go through the trap as well now. Come on, Stephen and Samuel. You, Samuel, come on. Quick, quick, quick. You're going to miss the show. You're going to miss the big show. Front row seats, my friend. Here you go. Oh, there's one person, two people that are going to be missed. Um, they're going to miss out. Three people, actually. Okay, you sir. It's not my fault you didn't book online, my friend. Don't hit me in the face. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to do my job. Trying to collect in all the tickets. And then make sure everyone's sat in their seats. If 
before the show starts and you sir you were very late you did not book online so don't hit me in the face ever again please okay <laughs> oh my goodness the zombie just died he like fell over and that was so so convenient because if he hadn't have fallen over right there I think I would have died we got a zombie shield yes we do let's go through the trap then come on come on ladies and gentlemen come on please find your seats the show is about to start oh uh oh uh oh okay I'm going down let's do this uh oh I'm gonna take some damage I'm gonna take some damage oh my goodness oh my goodness what they all just dis no they didn't all just disappear oh my goodness oh my goodness my pants I've got a little bit smelly. They've changed colour. I don't understand why I was such an idiot there. I don't understand why I didn't go down as well. Tried to keep my back to them at one point. Because I thought I had a zombie shield, but we don't. We just picked one up. I don't even know. Don't even know. We didn't even take that much damage from the acid that we shot. A little uh, vitriolic, vitriolic withering. My goodness me. How did we not die? We were the luckiest people in the world there. Well, we wouldn't have died, we'd just gone down and then... Uh, sorry, you got an itchy nose. And... I bet that sounded really weird. Um, yeah, we'd, we'd, we would have gone down and we would have probably run around for a bit. Maybe gone down again, but... You know, eventually I'm sure we'd have got back to Juggernaut. And we still haven't picked up Deadshot. I don't really think we need it. I was thinking maybe it would have helped with the retriever and, and doing more damage with the retriever but I'm not entirely sure to be honest um, but yeah I can't believe we didn't go down there very lucky escape I mean it was it was more like I want to say it was skill but it wasn't so I'm not going to say that I'm going to see the trap come on oh okay oh I'm going to miss someone yeah that's not We'll put the trap on this circuit because we would have missed a load of zombies there and it would have been a waste. I'm going to try and get them all to come through. I'm going to go all the way down here making sure we don't get caught on that wall again. Okay, so there's a lot of zombies in here. I think everyone's in here now. Everyone's in. Okay. We finally did our job properly. But we still missed two people. Um, two people clearly didn't book online. So that's their fault. But yeah, still coming through, still dying. Nice uh, front row seats to the show. Is this the end of the round? I like. I'd like to hope so. I'd like to think so, so I can stop talk. Stop talking, absolute twaddle. Stop making your ears bleed, fellow viewers. I do apologise. Do talk about some rubbish sometimes. Okay, this is gonna be okay. I'm gonna do this. And we're going to lose a shield. We're going to scratch our nose. I'm going to wipe the excess on our trousers. And then we're going to go through the, tra the trap again. Because it's ready. The trap is ready. Tea's ready, guys. Come on. Tea time. Ringing the bell. Ringing the tea time bell. And you're coming in. Following me. Like ducklings. And look what happened. Look, look, what's, look what happens when you blindly follow someone that's itching their nose and clearly a disgusting person by wiping excess disgustingness all over you okay we took a wrong turn there could be could have been the beginning of a movie there a very short movie oh a very long and boring but slightly impressive movie something like Delia Smith my mom, I think my mum watches Delia Smith um, and my mum's brilli a brilliant cook, of course. Well, She's the best in the world. Okay, we're going to come down here. We're going to swing around here. Uh, and then we're going to do this. Shutting. Farewell, everybody. Oh, look at that. You're dead. Uh-oh. He's not. Um, four zombies left. Oh, they're starting to come now. Look at that guy showing off his parkour skills, jumping over the bench. 
table thing there. Ooh, let's get around here. Let's scratch our nose again as well. Scratch my nose and a zombie fell out of it. Oh my goodness. What was he doing up there? How long was he up there as far as well? Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Are we gonna uh Are we gonna put a trap on? Yes, I do believe we are, sir. Come on, gentlemen and ladies. Come on, jelly babies and genitals. Is the trap gonna be on? Yes, but I think we missed. I think we missed the show, guys. We didn't book online. Okay, two people survived. Oh, one. I don't know. I think one zombie survived. That's fine. He's fast. That's okay. Let's get around here. Keeping an eye on the windows. Keeping an eye on the windows. Indeed. That's the only thing you really need to watch. The windows. Only, and only like this window. And that window. Not that window, because that window's, I mean, there's so much space there, it's redonkulous. You don't even need to watch that. You don't even, you don't even need to have your brain plugged in when you go around here. If so, if one of the zombies steps on your Ethernet wire and your, bla your brain falls out, it's fine. Because there's so much room there, you don't even need to think. Um, but the other two windows, of course, are quite tricky. And we've gone down on, I think, both of those windows. Okay, you sir are rude. In the way. Knocking my uh, right shield off. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. There's a hand floating around in the air. That's horrible and illegal. Defying the laws of physics. That is illegal, my friends. Okay. MLG zombies, back or edition. Boom. Okay. Is that is that hand still there? Yes, it is. It's either a hand or a newspaper flying around and suspended in midair. It's going to be a bit difficult every time we walk past and it flaps us in the face. Wipes blood all over us. Got us again there. It's annoying. Um, trap time, I think, ladies and genitals. Come on. Everyone that sits in rows 1 to 12, please make your way towards the viewing area and die. Please don't leave your hands lying around in midair or any of the body parts for that matter because um, you know we try and maintain a measure of quality in these viewing areas and if you're leaving hands lying around it's just not pleasant for other viewers. People, I mean, unless someone comes along and they've lost their hand and they need another one then it could be quite useful actually. They could just like stick it on, plug it in the old three prong female adapter plug hole thing. Whee! And there's only four zombies left. We're at the end of this round. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome and goodbye. If you've just joined, I'm really sorry, but this is the end of the video. So, shame on you for not booking online in advance. But thank you all very much for watching. And I hope this has been enjoyable for you. I hope it hasn't made you vomit green stuff all over zombies and things. And I hope that they sort the pipes out soon on the showers because every time I try and take a shower, it I get more dirty on these showers. They, I get I turn green and it hurts me and I nearly go down. So hopefully Trey are gonna are gonna patch that and sort that out because it's not it's not acceptable. Um, doesn't get my seal of approval but I'm talking twaddle this is another very long outro someone just died that's how long it was people are dying from just old age this is how long this outro is a zombie has just died from old age was that him or was that him yeah that was him oh look at the expression on his face the poor little man the poor little man the graphics haven't even loaded on his dead body yet the poor little man let's have a look again Oh, it turns out he's called Steven. Steven's dead. So we're going to have to wait till the next round for him to come back. And I'm going to quickly end this video because other people are going to be dying of grey-headed and old-agedness. So thank you all very much for watching. If you could smash that like button with um, something heavy, that would be fantastic. Uh, make sure you don't break your computer, though. 
and if you are looking forward to the next video make sure you subscribe and there will be a link to the next video when it's made available so thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode